Hello everybody, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek and today I will be unboxing and comparing this beautiful trailer which was delivered just a couple of days ago and it's really awesome. Uh, the first thing that I will do is that I will unbox this one, yeah, which uh, I ordered online and then I will compare it to my uh, already existing uh, GMP or GPM, I'm not sure, um, trailer which I already have. So maybe let me just first show you a little bit more details here. So the trailer looks like this, yeah, with nice license plate and all the details. Wow, I'm amazed already just by seeing the pictures. And there are also some technical details like how long it is. Yeah, five meters long in reality and also uh, the weight is 450 kilograms and here you can see also all the different pieces that were put together to make this amazing model uh, stand out okay so let me maybe directly uh, open the box here yeah, and since I want to really show you what is inside. Okay, it's not that easy, but eventually we will manage. Okay, and there is something like a small certificate here. Um, yeah, maybe I will not even remove it here because I will just keep it there and I don't need this certificate, honestly. Okay, so let me just uh, shift the camera a little bit. And here what we have is actually the trailer. Very nice. It's nicely packed. It's There are many layers. There's a paper. There's also plastic. And uh, what is that? Show me what is actually here. Okay, so that's the towing device or tow device. And it looks like this part with a tow ball you can connect to your existing 1 to 18 model and then you can connect the trailer yeah, we will somehow test it later of course but first let me just put everything here and there are also here two rails yeah and they are pretty light so nothing heavy i would expect that they could be metal die cast but everything is plastic yeah so uh, what a shame, everything plastic. And maybe now I will just take it out of the box. So one layer. Oh, I already broke something. Jesus Christ. I broke this already here. Oh my God. What the... Oh, I'm so upset now. Okay, so you must be very careful when you are taking this out of the paper because there are many tiny pieces. I already broke one of them, but it will not be a problem to glue it back in. Okay, this is the trailer. I must be super careful now. Oh guys, I'm so, so mad now. This piece. <sighs> okay, it happens also uh, in better families, yeah, so. <laughs> All right, so now let me also take these uh, out of the cover and it says also L here. I think this will be the left one and the right one and I will just put it here very gently. Okay, I don't want to break anything more. Yeah, so and the second one in here. I think they, they look exactly the same. I don't know why there is one to the left, one to the right, if they look exactly the same. It makes no sense. But anyway, okay, I will maybe unpack this one a little bit later. So I will also save this small piece, put it somewhere that I don't lose it, this one as well. And now we have actually the trailer here, but I said, I will compare the two trailers and I have another one. So maybe you remember that I also have this one, yeah, made by GMP. And actually there is this nice uh, gas monkey sticker or this nice sign. 
it's very beautiful but i was also disappointed by some parts like for example here it was too plastic yeah and also uh, if you remember i didn't like uh the brake lights because it's just they are not transparent they don't look like lights uh it's just you know red piece of something and <laughs> it's just not uh very precisely done but what i liked were the wheels because there is a small logo of a gas monkey and they were also made by rubber and there's also this nice construction where you can actually place uh, some spare tires and actually there was also this small device here um, so you can easily like place it here uh, and then it will hold a little bit up okay but then uh, I actually purchased this one because it's more um, more detailed in my opinion so let me just remove those two and show it to you so here you can see that uh, the lights are much better uh, they are more detailed it's, it really looks like a light <laughs> yeah not just piece of something red uh, the license plate also beautifully done uh, realistic and when you look at it, uh, it still it looks very plastic. Yeah? So maybe I can color it with something to uh, add a little bit more rust. Uh, it would be more rust. When you check from below, it doesn't look so nice. Uh, there is actually nothing so realistic at all. Only you see here uh, the manufacturer, which is the Lauda Racing, and also you see the model. So it's uh, Rimor. Oh, I can't even read it. Is it something Italian? Maybe. But this is a product number 131 out of 350. Of course, it's 1 to 18 scale, and probably this was. Uh, a model from 1950 yeah? at least the original this was uh, produced just a couple of months ago it's quite new you can see that uh, I can turn the wheels or uh, spin them and actually the most details you can see here so even before I broke one one piece here um, you can still see quite many details here but for example here you cannot really turn it yeah? so it's just static and there is no real wire uh, or rope. It's also just uh, the same piece of plastic. And here I have see some minus points because I would uh, expect that there is real wire or uh, some rope and then I can just, you know, rotate this and then it would all work together. And then we have many, many other sticks here, you know, to somehow operate. Uh, the trailer and we have also small wheel here which you can turn and then here the piece which you can later uh, actually connect to this this small uh, tow ball that you are supposed to connect to your uh, car maybe I will try it later not sure it would work something like that yeah so you connect it here yeah, it fits <laughs> somehow even if there is this condom uh, it fits okay so now I think it's also time to test it a little bit yeah so what I have prepared are some some of my favorite cars and I will try to load them uh, on the trailers so maybe let me huh, it's not holding very well it's a joke you know, I'm not very satisfied with the quality here. It's really, it doesn't fit very well. No, it's, it's terrible actually. The quality here, it's terrible. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm still don't know which one is better um, from those two, but we will check also now some other features, yeah? So now we have the two trailers. And I also have my favorite uh, Bentley 
uh, flying spur, so let me just try to, to load it to the first one. Yeah, I may, maybe I will need to put the camera a little bit further. And now, just very slowly. Oh, uh, it somehow. Phew, maybe I'm scratching now here the part of the car. I'm really scratching it. And since it's. Oh, I don't want to really destroy the car, so I will do it very carefully. You see? Scratching, scratching. Now, finally. Uh, wheels are connected to the floor It's very heavy, so I need to hold it on the other side and now again oh God Not really good and now finally I loaded it and It's fully loaded, but it's so long that I cannot really you know I can't really fold it completely so the rails will stay like this but you, you see that somehow uh, even this big Bentley would fit. Um, so now just let's put it back. Okay, and now the second one. I think we have the same issue here. Oh, it's now down. What to do now? <laughs> Maybe one step back. It's really terrible. I don't know why this doesn't hold in its position. It's so bad and I am so mad. It's just terrible. Louder racing, this is terrible. Okay, so now a little bit more. And this Bentley is so heavy. Okay. So now you can see what happened here. That we have this trailer. It's fully loaded. And I can now remove those two pieces. And I could transport this, but it's so unstable. I'm very afraid that, yeah, there is nothing to really hold the car uh, like nothing is working here and uh, I'm a little bit afraid what can happen now. Yeah? Okay, so let me uh, try to fit this tow ball to my X5 somewhere and it would not be that easy. Yeah? It's actually very long, you see how long it is, but I, have, I, do, I see no way how to really fit it in there. So it will be maybe very complicated and it will not be maybe possible with, without some further modifications, yeah? So maybe I would need to drill a hole here and then I would also destroy the model maybe because I'm not a big uh, expert in drilling models and putting this uh, into them. But let me just show you also how it would look like when we have those two cars, like one next to each other and it's quite a nice scenery, yeah? so now you see uh, this trailer with a Bentley and here you see also the BMW X5, so it would be very nice diorama. But since this is so heavy, I already see that uh, something is not really fine here, yeah? so maybe this small wheel here is a little bit breaking as well. Look at it, when I a little bit move it, it's so weak. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid how this would work. Yeah, so this is how it is. Now maybe tell me what do you think about this trailer in the comments? Uh, what would you say like about this one? Let me also zoom it a little bit here. So this is how it looks like, yeah. Really, you see now all the small details. Actually here, the wheels are quite plastic, yeah, so not really nice. And I don't like it so much because um, also here, yeah, it, it looks so plastic, not realistic at all. 
with my favorite Ferrari on it. And now tell me, which trailer do you think is better? Because in, in my humble opinion, I ordered the, the new one, the Lauda Racing one, because I thought it would be better. But now when I compare them, uh, maybe the original one from GMP was better. Except this is, there is only one exception, like here the light uh, could be a little bit better on the GMP one. But overall, I think the new one from, uh, from Lauda Racing could be much better. Yeah, so let me also show it to you from, from the top a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. And you see two trailers here that could be attached to my BMW X5 with this with this small uh, toe ball here and maybe later I will do that but not now yeah so I think that's it for today thank you very much that's, that's only a short video I, I wanted to show you those two uh, trailers and compare them a little bit uh, maybe I will keep only one of them but uh, for now thank you very much for watching and see you next time my friends bye bye